the importance of it has certainly been recognized. Mm -hmm. The need for it has definitely been yeah. identified. And it's been pitched in national papers, national policy documents as a definite need. But why that need hasn't been achieved, I I'm, I'm not, not sure. sure though. My, my one thought, Mike, might well be that it's financial, yeah. that the the finances that are available are being utilized to shore up and to improve what's available for the university space. And um, I I could only think that this would, would be a big system and yeah. it would require significant funding. What was frustrating to us in the study is that um, we, uh, to the point about disparate data sets, we, we went looking for data in various places and, and data was available. But if we looked at the two main data sets available to us to draw conclusions from, the one was uh, the Department of Higher Education's uh, data, drawn mostly from the submission of the annual reports, so that was the source data, and the other one was from the CHE's HEQCI uh, air system, HEQS, the information system. Um, those two systems, even on simple, simple things like student oh. headcount, staffing, um, enrollment in the different qualifications, those two systems that are officially collecting data from the sector were completely um, out of sync with each other. If we don't have credible, valid, reliable data, then it is likely that the minister and any of the other regulating bodies, lawmakers, are going to be reluctant to set targets, for example, for the sector, to report on those targets, because without a reliable data set, then all, everything else that flows from that becomes a problem. I, I really believe that there should have been, from the acknowledgement, mm. there should have been a far greater emphasis placed on just establishing that management information system if we were going to be true to our belief that we wanted a single coherent higher education system.